Hello students, last class we have finished the chapter Matter in our surroundings. So that is first chapter and that comes under chemistry. We have finished the exercise and we have discussed all about that chapter. I hope you all are clear with that chapter. If you have any notes, let me know in WhatsApp. You can send me a message or in WhatsApp you can send me the doubt and I will clear that doubt. Okay. So now we'll move to the next question, next portion that is physics portion we will we are moving. So that is your chapter number eight motion. So we'll learn about this in this class motion. So generally you know about motion and rest. Where you come across in the different instances is if you are playing the cricket, a bowler bowls a ball and a batsman hit the ball and after hitting the ball, ball starts moving. But will it move it? Will it move continuously? No. After some time it will come to rest. Okay. Then if you are moving in a bus or if you are going in a bus, you can observe that the trees are moving backwards. If you are in a bus, from the window if you see, you feel that the trees are moving backwards. Or if a person standing outside the bus, when the bus travels in front of him, he feels that bus is moving along with that also, passengers also moving. But for the person who is in bus, what happens? For the person who is in bus, for him the trees are appear to be moving in backwards, but his co-passengers are seems to be in rest for him. So then what all are happening here? The, what the processes are happening here? The sun rises, the sun sets. That means happening of sunrise or happening of sunset. Okay. Are due to what? Due to the motion of earth. So then what is exactly motion and what is rest? What are these concepts motion and rest? So I will go on telling them. Okay. See this motion can be in a different way. It could be a straight line motion. It could be a circular motion or it could be a vibration. Or it can be a combination of all these things. For example, if you take straight line motion. What could be called a straight line motion? If you are going in a bike. That if you are going in a straight road also. Then you can say that you are in a straight line motion. Or we can say that for linear motion. And after that what comes? Circular motion you can observe. Where we observe circular motion? Suppose if you are watching a running race. What happens in a running race? Athlete runs in a circular orbit. So that could be a circular motion. Right? Then vibrations. You can, you can observe the vibrations. You can hear the vibrations. Okay? So that is also type of motion also. If you are keeping your mobile in the vibration mode. So you can feel the vibrations there. You can hear the vibrations there. Or sound vibrations you can see. If you go to Gol Gumbaj, even though you tell it one times, it repeats that seven times. That time you are hearing, that time you are hearing some vibrations. So that is also motion of sound particles. So these all are regarding motion. So what is exactly motion then? So we will come to that point. So first I will describe rest and motion. Rest and motion. These are the two important points you should remember. What is rest and what is motion. And with some examples also you have to remember. Okay. See rest is the natural state of a 
body body always wants to be in rest okay if i give the example of cricket that a ball even given a hit it does not keep continuously moving because after some time it will come to rest okay body's natural tendency is rest so body always wants to be in rest so what is rest then okay suppose if a object is here say object is here say person you are here you start running after some time you will come here at b okay then what you have done you made a motion right suppose a person your friend is standing here only let him say c your friend c is standing here only he will not change his position even though you go here okay so then we can say that he is in rest then what is rest what is motion see here a body is said to be in rest a body is said to be please go on note down noting down with me only a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position or yeah if it does not change its position its position with the respect to a reference point with the respect to with respect to a reference point if a body will not change its position with the reference to with respect to a reference point then we have to say that the body is under rest a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point ಒಂದು ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಅನುಗುಣವಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಬಾಡಿ ತನ್ನ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ okay it is not changing its position with this reference point then it is said to be in rest body iddalli idra now it rest antivi so iddalli idd position yena reference point one yavu reference point thogbeku a reference point indra iddalli ittappa andra adu adakke nam en antivi rest antu hele karithivi avada so what is rest a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point i hope you all are getting my point so there is a bus one bus irtad elle bus stand or bus irtad usually uh, we call them as the last bus last night bus or vasti bus ante kannada anta okay so those bus will stay stationary from night 11 to morning till 5 or 6 okay in that time what is happening it is at rest how we know that suppose there is a point in bus stand with respect to that point the position of the body is changing no the distance between them is changing no in that time it is not changing that means we can say that the body is under rest so now you are watching it in mobile if you are sitting somewhere and if you are watching it in mobile the distance between you and mobile is not changing then both of you are in rest then suppose if you take the mobile as a reference point okay then you are sitting in some place you are not changing your position that means the position the distance between you and mobile is not changing that means you are under rest suppose if you start moving then the distance between you and mobile starts changing isn't it 
then you start or you are in motion so first let us understand the concept of rest a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point so on the reference pointing anugunavage adu than position na change madlilla andra adu nau rest anthele karithivi that means it has to be in the same position with reference to a reference point with respect to reference point if body is in the same position then we say it is in rest or you can easily define it as a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to time a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point i hope you all are clear with this so that is my rest so then what is the motion definition of motion same thing here a is moved from point a to b so then a is said to be in rest how we can say that suppose a bus is in bus stand it starts moving after some time so what happens it moved to the bus stand of another village or another city so it has traveled it is it was under motion okay so then what is motion suppose that is if i take a x person is here so this is a place a let me say a person x is here he moved from this point that is a point to point b the same x person moved from point a to point b he made a motion that means this is my reference point let me say this is the distance he has moved here the same x person made the motion okay now the distance has changed isn't it the distance between a and x has changed to this much this much is the distance now right so it is changing now when it is changing means it is in motion so how we can say that how we can say that a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point so as written above a body a body is said to be in motion a body is said to be in motion if it changes what it does it has to change if it changes its position if it changes its position with respect to a reference point with respect to a reference point with respect to a reference point if a body a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point now when the body is there body and any object we can take so if now we adu evaga the motion da adu ant helthivi andra if it is changing or if it changes its position with respect to a reference point and reference point thondirthivi adu anugunavagi than position anna ad change maadtu andre then we can say it is in motion so how that how is that so i have given you so many example for example earth earth is in motion how we know that suppose you there we have to take sun as a reference point the distance between sun and earth keeps changing so earth is changing its position with respect to sun so then we can say that earth is in motion 
that means here body is earth reference point is sun so body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point on the reference point ig anuguna vage body in manlike to then position on a change manlike to and we can call it as it is in motion okay see these are the two important definition a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point then motion a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point you can start you can write this one first and later you write rest so first you write motion and later you write rest a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point whereas rest is exactly opposite of this a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point okay see when the body is in motion there is no such need that there should be a change in distance always or change in displacement always we can say for example if it is in circular motion if a body is in circular motion okay this is the center is the reference point so here if the body is here the distance between body and reference point for example if you take 100 meter even though body comes here it made a motion the distance will be still 100 meter only okay on the basis of distance we cannot think that whether the body is in motion or in rest but with the reference point it has changed its position isn't it from this position to this position it has it has come that means it has changed its position so then we have to say that it is in motion so don't consider distance or displacement in motion here that is there should not be any such cases or there should no need that the distance should always change whether the body is in motion if the body is in motion there is no such need that the distance always changes okay sometimes in circular motion like this it remains constant even though body is in motion so i hope you got my point so then what is linear motion what is linear motion so motion has a types linear motion then circular motion then vibration okay for your syllabus only we consider linear motion circular motion and vibrations okay and after this there is uniform motion and non uniform motion which are the types of motion we will come to know that later see linear motion what is linear motion linear itself indicates that it is line if the motion is under straight line then we have to say this linear motion very easy if the motion is along a straight line then we call it as linear motion if the motion is along the circular path then we have to tell it as circular motion vibrations are nothing but if the motion is under vibrations we can say it as a vibrations okay or if you say if you take wave concept if the motion is taking along the mean position of a wave then we can say it as a vibrations vibrations you don't worry linear motion and circular motion you understand and mainly you understand this one that is linear motion which is there for your syllabus what is linear motion then if the motion is along a straight line if the motion is along a straight line we have to say this as a linear motion motion along a straight line if the object is moving along a straight line okay or if the body is moving along a straight line the body moves in a straight line or along a straight line you can use in it moves in a straight line then 
motion is said to be linear motion. Then motion is said to be linear motion. So give me examples of linear motion. Linear motion the examples here are motion along a straight line. One that we have seen. Here is a bike or a straight path or something like that. We can say that it is a linear motion. Then if you say examples, you can consider 100 meter race. Usually in 100 meter race, we don't consider the circular paths. It will be a straight line. Okay. A person running in 100 meter race that can be considered as linear motion. Okay, then where we can consider again linear motion. So you can uh, feel the different kind of examples. You can think of different kind of examples where a body is moving straight line in a straight line. On body in a way, straight line or move up the way. So other than we know, we linear motion and there is curvy. New and with sun rays. Okay, the rays coming are moving in a straight line. Okay, sun rays or light rays. So if there is earth here, this is sun. They are coming like this. They are moving in a straight line. Their motion is straight line. So there we can say that this is linear motion. ये देखना हूँ linear motion हम ता हेड बोल दूँ. ठीक है? So this what we can call is a linear motion. So let me repeat here the three things: rest motion, linear motion. Examples you should remember. What is the reason behind the sunrise and sunset? Motion of Earth. Why eclipses happen? Due to motion. Due to motion of Earth, motion of Moon, or motion of which we can say Sun. Or you can say rotation, whether it is rotation or revolution. Again, those are all motion only. Okay. So due to motion, these all are happening. Okay. And cricket ball, I have given you example. There also the application of motion is present. So even though ball is given a hit, so it moves, and after some times it comes to rest. Okay, when it comes to rest means it is not changing its position with respect to a reference point. Then we have to say it is in rest. When it is moving, for example, if you take a fielder or the stumps, that means wickets which are kept under the ground, if you take them as a reference point, so ball will be in stationary mode, or the distance between ball and wickets will be constant at that time. Okay, so we are considering that in linear motion we can consider that, but in circular motion we cannot consider distance. Okay, so here we can say that the ball is under rest. Okay, and the ball is in motion when the ball is being hit by a batsman and it is moving actually. So that time it is in motion. So these are rest motion and linear motion. So what is rest? A body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to a reference point. So, what is my motion? A body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to a reference point. So, I have given you lot of examples regarding this. Okay, linear motion means it if if a body moves. In a straight line, then we have to say that body is in linear motion. If the body, okay, so if the body moves in a straight line, then motion is said to be linear motion, or then we can say that body is in linear motion. So these things we have to remember. So what are motion? So you list out. Where you come across different types of motion, or where you come across motion and rest, or you list out better, you list out three to four cases where you observe a linear motion. Okay, so that will be your homework definitely.
so list out three to four cases where we observe linear motion also so be perfect with this only three concept we discussed rest motion and linear motion and along with that i have discussed initially the examples of motion you can take the example of bus tree passenger cricket example or sunrise and sunset example so we have discussed those okay and i have given some example by taking the a b c positions okay so be perfect with that i hope you all are clear with motion rest and linear motion so there are lot of concepts are there so we'll see them in the next class